41 Actions reporter Ariel Rothfield live where that triple shooting ended along 40th Street. Ariel, bring us up to speed. What are you hearing from neighbors? Well, Kevin, there were many neighbors out doing yard work today when they literally had to drop to the ground or run behind their homes as gunfire erupted on their street. It's become known for its flats, a quiet street where neighbors know one another. But on Wednesday, that silence was broken. We hear gunshots, very loud gunshots, close gunshots. Neighborhood video capturing this black sedan speeding down the street, crashing into Justin Cross's car. They were already gone. Before those inside the vehicle tried to run. Police say the car, one of two, involved in a rolling gun battle. So I heard some smaller sounding pops, maybe about, I don't know, four or five. Which injured three, including an innocent bystander. And then all of a sudden I heard about eight or nine more from a much larger gun. As police searched for evidence in Westport, detectives were called to another shooting two miles away. This one near the Guadalupe Center, marking nine shootings in Kansas City within less than 24 hours. I was kind of thinking during this quarantine, Maybe some of these things would slow down. And it's like we've barely opened up and here we are. Kansas City Police Chief Rick Smith clearly frustrated. Writing on his blog, police presence is not deterring those set on committing violent acts. Most of the crimes, he says, have involved uncooperative victims and juveniles. Like those neighbors saw. I, I looked down that way, I saw another another younger looking guy running this way. Run away from the crash car. I just don't understand uh, why we always have to, why things Things have to come to that. Police tell me the three people shot, including that innocent bystander, are expected to be okay. Officers were able to detain everyone in the vehicles. Reporting in Kansas City tonight, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.